I have a good mic now. Addy, do you have a good mic? Possibly. Oh, Pink, what about you? Oh, heck, if I know. Oh. Well, there's clearly no way of telling as we talk <laughs> to our mic. We, we, we all, we all talk, we, we all, we all, we're all talking into, this, into the one same mic because we're, we're in the same studio. <laughs> Which explain my internet connection isn't shittier. I'm just dropping out of connection with reality. Yeah, <laughs> you're fading out. He's no clipping into another dimension. Yeah, yeah. Cthulhu's yeah. come too close. I've started no, no clipping into the floor. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you upset Aries one too many times. He, you're alone. Yeah, I've stopped too many wars. He can't handle it. Yeah. Okay, what episode is it? 185. 185, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm still operating from the uh, internet uh, zone, so... <laughs> the, uh... So, Addy is handling the recording instead of me, which is why I don't know what the episode number is. Yeah. Words. Ah! <laughs> Yes, and I also have uh, just really finished uh, moving, like unloading the truck, on uh, Thursday, which was uh, not yesterday, but the day before, and I'm, I'm actually more exhausted today than I was yesterday. So, yeah, I'm having a hard time putting thoughts together. Exhaust yeah. Exhaustion was, was, in your, uh, it was in your queue, but it was full, so it, you needed to wait. <laughs> yeah. Also, I just realized that Dubia was at two hundred percent still, so I, I just I just lowered his audio so he wouldn't be yelling compared to Pink. I'm not loud enough yet. No. No. Oh, be louder. You louder. Ugh. All right. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Pink. Yeah. What you, what you got coming out on your channel this week? All right, so this week I should be... Wait, my screen went black for some reason. I should be getting out more Hades as well as all the remaining episodes of the Aztec playthrough that I said I was going to get out last week and didn't. So that's all that will be coming out on my channel. Okay. Hey. Nothing. Okay. On my channel, I can't predict. Uh, it's pretty much guaranteed that it's not going to be dead by daylight for a good long while, because the internet won't accept that. Uh, so, I do want to get out like the actual like uh, state of the channel for the month thing. I try to do a one, once a month at the start of the month, give it a, some kind of talk about what things are going on. So, I would probably do that with Dead Rising 1 at some point. Beyond that, I can't say I've got a whole lot of uh, big plans. It's probably just going to be me putting time into Total War and a few other games. You, you put uh, up a, if you, I can... you put up a sale of the channel, and it's just a five five second video. That's a P that's a PNG upload, and the PNG just says, "I have no internet." <laughs> no, it's just a picture of a slash through a Wi Fi icon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh... I'll, I'll, we'll figure out stuff to do, because there's still big Total War announcements coming out. It's just got to be stuff that I can do my, by myself now, I guess. Yeah. And of course, you know, I, I can still do Shut Your Mouth Lounge and Fighting Games R, but those don't require me to be talking on Discord and playing a game at the same time. Yeah. All right. And on the FOS channel, on July 5th, Monday... We have Super Math Ninja. No, wait, Strider coming out. What's Part the difference? Seven. Yeah. Hey. On Tuesday, July 6th, we have got Street Fighter 3 arcade mode coming out. Me and Pink watch Addy beat up a bunch of dudes. Yeah. And then he plays Street Fighter. <laughs> And then on Friday, July 9th, the, a very interestingly named episode of Ratchet and Clank, episode 8. I'm kind of curious about that episode title, Plart, Bart, Mark, Cart. 
So the, the, the story that I talk about in, in the video as well, which is why, why it's titled as such. But uh, Paul Blart ca came up in uh, in discussion for some reason during the Ratchet and Clank playthrough. And uh, I remember that there was this one time when I saw a guy who was like probably fucking super high. Who, who, try, who was trying to write something about Paul Blart, but couldn't. So instead of writing Paul, Paul Blart Malkop, they wrote Plart Blart Martkart. And I was like, uh, then, was this not part of that series of uh, goofy ed uh, visual edits of the trailer? Um, not the trailer, the poster. Uh, it it did get ma ma made into one, yes. I do I do remember that there being a po poster I edit after after that, that freaking that that, that that thing happened. Yeah, I I definitely remember that meme. Hang on, hang on. Now I want to bring it up though. I gotta, I gotta start bringing up some pictures. Don't worry, don't worry. They're all goodies. I'm in the wrong channel. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there Paul Lord Flesh Mall, <laughs> Silent Hill, <laughs> no, Flesh Mall. No, I. It's, uh, just saying Silent Hill is not good enough. I need to do, do it like they do in the fucking the movie. Silent Hill! Silent Hill! I'm, I'm personally a fan of the really shitty singer they had for the credits theme for Silent Hill 3. Silent Hill! It's a place you don't want to go to! Uh, I, I can't comment on the singer at the end of 3 because I, I, I am purposefully not, not, not freaking... Like, I'm purposefully avoiding stuff about 3 until we play it. Yeah, we got we got to do that at some point. The trouble is, I just got so much anxiety about it because, like Silent Hill Two, I had already played through, so I could guide you through it. Silent Hill Three, I don't know what the fuck's happening, and Silent Hill games are scary ones to get just lost in and be like, "Well, fuck, here goes the rest of the recording." Well, the the biggest <laughs> the, the biggest issue with the Silent Hill, Hill, Hill Three playthrough is that my Xbox has been dead for a year. Yeah. <laughs> they come to Furry's run, just run. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like that that, that the attack of the Furry's feature is, is just the last year for the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, these are too good. I don't know why. I, I I should hate them, but I love them. I mean, it's, it's, it's like that time where we spent like an hour while we were waiting for P Pink with Dead, Li Dead Rising 4. We spent like an hour just editing pictures of Antoine. It's, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't, we didn't spend an hour editing pictures of Antoine. I spent an hour editing pictures of Antoine and then sent them to you so you can, you can laugh at them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that, that's enough. That's enough uh, Blart Cart for today. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, Pinkerton. <laughs> yeah. I, I like how the, his penis is, penis is on fire picture implies that his, penis, his dick is located under, under his boobs. That's how, <laughs> that's how big it is. Yes. Yes. He has to tape it to his ch uh, packs to keep it back. <laughs> you, you've heard of the... Uh... <laughs> the man from Nantucket? Yes, I have. Uh, no, I, I, I'm... You ever heard of uh, Prince Albert, is what I was going to say. The A-Train? Yeah, I have. I was uh, about Queen, to say. Queen Victoria's husband... Uh, had a, supposedly, according to according to myth, had a penis that was so large, like massive, that it got in the way of him riding horses. So he had to get the tip pierced with a ring, and then a, another ring, like put in on his uh, lower thigh, and join them together. He had to pretty, he had to chain his penis to his thigh when he rode rode horses, because otherwise it got in the way. <laughs> That's how riding bicycles feels. That's why I don't like them. And that is why Victoria was so hideous in her later years.
Uh, ah, Pinker, Pink, Pink, uh, uh, I, I nearly did the same joke twice. Fuck, Pink. Yeah. You're weak. My weak. No, uh, not your weak, Pink. You are see. weak. Nobody is calling you weak. <laughs> How do you respond? I'm weak in the news. I've become an. I've become an anime villain. I just go around telling people how weak I think they are. Yeah. <laughs> Davia's strength increases whenever he tells someone that they are weak. <laughs> he is Virgil. He's looking for the <laughs> ultimate power. Oh, I got a sneeze coming up, but it's not coming out. Oh, there we go. Okay. How uh, dare. Pink. How about it? Uh, let's see. This week, I watched Loki. I thought this last episode was very good. Uh, All right. It, the series has taken a lot of twists and turns, and I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, I think we're past the mid-season point, which is kind of wild to me, because it feels like there's a lot left to wrap up. <laughs> I won't complain. Uh, Tom Hiddleston, always good. A++. He's in my boy. Uh, outside of Loki, hmm, did I do anything else noteworthy this week? I feel like I didn't. I watched Addy P speedrun Strider. That was fun. Yeah. Te technically speaking, we got the world record. I just can't, can't stop. Yeah, like we got the world record. First try. Are you proud of us? Are you proud of us, Alex? Very. You don't sound proud. Because Why you not I proud of us? I for a second there. I am tired. <laughs> like the thing, the thing is, um, there's just like there's so many stutters in the recordings for some reason. I I don't know why because it wasn't telling. Well, I couldn't tell if it was telling me during the recording, but there, there, apparently there were stutters during the recording for some reason. I'm I'm just not confident in freaking submitting it to make it official. <laughs> <laughs> and like the only reason we, we even got word record is just because our in a niche in a niche game and in a, in a niche freaking uh, what you call it. Uh, I forget the proper name. Whatever. Like it, it was a niche set of the set of rules as well. So like, there's literally only one other guy that I have seen to have run that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're now the champions. Well, we, if, yeah. if 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 I actually submitted it to submitted it submitted it to speedrun.com and it got accepted, then technically technically I think we may may we may have world record, but it, it, it I don't know. <laughs> It's complicated. Can you share you it? Have the world record. We're at least number two. Can you share it if uh, you submit it with both you talking over? I don't see why not. Well, Pink, congratulations on becoming the speedrunning champion of a game you don't own and have never played. <laughs> I I I am the Striders twenty fourteen speedrun champions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't all speedrunners talk over there, or at least the famous ones? Well, everyone, and everyone, I use everyone famous very loosely here. I mean, and everyone, everyone, like okay, not everyone, but most people do talk over their over their speedruns. But usually, the only time when there's multiple casters is when it when it's GDQ. Huh. Well, that's just because speedrunners don't have friends, so. You know, friends, they really just weigh you down. You need to... <laughs> you need to align the load as much as possible. Yeah, that, that, that's, how, that's how you get the top speed. That, that's how you get the top speed. You lose the dead mate. Exactly. Mate. Yeah. You pick up a friend every now and then just to do a friend cancel, and that boosts your speed a bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you use their diamond dimensions to clip, clip, clip into the world. It, it <laughs> boosts you forward. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue, Pink. Continue. All right. Uh, Kazuya's out on Smash now. I haven't played him. How is he? I haven't, haven't played, played him. him. I oh. have not played him. Okay. I've already seen people complain about electrics. Because I was electrics. Like, electric with Mod Fist. It's uh. It's an it's an uppercut that you need to in, uh, input with uh with like kind of precise timing I guess and apparently Sakurai made it made it true true to Tekken 
which is to say that it's, it's very hard to counter if you don't know how to counter it. Ah. And pe- people are having, having issues. And, and I, I like how I, I saw someone complain about it, and, and another dude just replied, Welcome to Tekken, this is your problem now too. Yeah. So yeah, he's out now. Haven't played him. Uh, I played some played Dante? Nitos, though, and they're very fun. Did you play Dante Pink? Mm. The only What's one? that? Have you played Dante? He's the most important one. <laughs> Dante. Me costume Dante. Oh, that was a bit of a shock, I must say. I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> Like, yeah, the, my, my, favorite, uh, my favorite part of that reveal was that at, 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 like, not even an hour after, after the reveal, Atlas, Atlas America posted a picture of the Shimura Mi Ten- Tensei featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry sticker going, y'all need this. <laughs> at- Atlas may be a dinosaur, but, but every once in a while. The, the freaking, the, 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 the part, part of the company that doesn't matter tr- tries. Tries. Uh, I mean, for my part, like, I'm sad it's Dante. I'm sad it's not Dante, that last character, but at the same time, like, honestly, I think Bayonetta would never have gotten in if she weren't already a Nintendo character herself. Like, I, I think Nintendo may just be apprehensive about characters like Dante just because they, they're from M rated games, you know? Yeah. Probably, yeah. What if? Anyways, you... Woods Doom guy. Yeah, and, uh, Doom, I, I, was, yeah. I was about to say it. it That's what, on it... Switch now, though. So I mean, it, it's yeah, probably a better door than Dante. So, had. so I don't is think Dante. He has a game on Switch. Dante. Yeah, so is Dante. They put the first three Devil May Cry games on Switch now. Oh, did they? I had no yeah. idea. But is there a, is there a Tekken game on Switch besides Tekken Tag uh, Tekken Tag Tournament Two for Wii U? Pokken. I don't have a clue. I don't watch Tekken. Pokken. Pokken does not count. <laughs> I don't. I don't think there is a Tekken game on Switch. No, I I guess they'll still work though, because like. With Metal Gear, there's definitely not a Metal Gear game on Switch, but, you know, they can there's, just say Twin Snakes for the GameCube. <laughs> there is no Metal Gear game. At all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there hasn't been a Metal Gear game for, like, five years. There's not gonna be one ever again. What's a Metal Gear? Solid Snake. That's what Konami wants you to ask. <laughs> Metal Gear is Pachinko Pink. Ah, I am familiar with the Pachinko. Uh, but I- I- imagine if the if if the freaking the next character is not announced, who who cares whoever it is? But they they just give Isabella Doom guy outfit. Okay, I'd be down with that. <laughs> yeah. They haven't added skins for characters before, but that would be an interesting way to do it. I, I, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I, do, Doom guy's lucky to even get a me costume, but if he does, they better have, like, in the trailer, just to do the goofy thing of him and Isabella, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, Smash. Yeah, Smash. <laughs> yeah. So I just finished a match as Kazuya now, because I've got my Switch here with me. He's he's fun. I don't know. Oh, all right. <laughs> he's fun. The end. Pink. Nothing else to say. Go go into training, yeah. training and do forward, down, forward, forward. One of the attack buttons. I don't. I, I don't remember how. how it's it's freaking... not, that's not happening in the space of this podcast, Addy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you. That's how you do do a freaking electric wind god fist. I know, but he's not gonna get that done within yeah, the I'm, time I'm telling, of this recording. I'm, I'm telling Pink. I know you know. 
But yeah, Pink, Pink you learn that one move, and you, you will wreck all, all of the casuals. I all like of them. It. You, you legitimately don't even need to learn anything else, just Doria. <laughs> There used to be a game, but it's it's been replaced by Doria. Anyway, thank you. Oh, all right. To cap off my week, I really didn't do much else. I did see a little bit more of My Hero Academia, but I don't really want to talk about that because I'm only barely into the second season, and I've got nothing really to say about it. Just all right. Same old, same old for now. Okay, W, go ahead, because I'll, I'll, I'll go list. Oh. Uh, I, I have my reason. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I've spent pretty well the entirety of this week uh, just moving. Uh, the only thing I've really uh, played or done, uh, I played... I finally popped in Mass Effect Legendary Collection. And played through the old first level of Mass Effect 1, Eden Prime. I'd say the Mass Effect... I'd say they've done a pretty good job of making Mass Effect 1 more fun. It's still a little bit more... It's still a little bit janky. Mass Effect 1 was always kind of the red-headed uh, child of that uh, series. Which is awkward, because it pretty well introduces the entire universe. But something that... I didn't really realize until, like, starting to play that, is, like, Mass Effect 1 is the one that suffers the most for characters. Characters don't seem to be that much of a focus in Mass Effect 1. Uh, Garrus and Tali, of course, get turned into much better characters in later games, but they're just kind of... Here, Garrus is just kind of space cop, and Tali is just kind of, like, a space Zionist. <laughs> but, Interesting. But, uh, yeah, they get better in later games, but Mass Effect 1 is just world-building. Everything is just world-building in Mass Effect 1. And can kind of respect that, because Mass Effect 1 puts so much work in on just being a unique sci-fi universe and not just being Star Wars or Star Trek, you know? Right. And particularly, you have to work hard to make sure you don't become new Star Trek, because, honestly, Mass Effect is pretty close to being Star Trek the video game. I don't know Star Trek very well. I haven't watched any other stuff, but what I understand about Star Trek, yeah, Mass Effect is Star Trek. So, uh, what else did I want to say about it? Oh, uh, it is a little odd. The remaster is a little bit odd because it's that classic thing where they up the faces and tried to touch the faces up in general and make them look better, but they didn't really fix the lighting system too much or anything like that. So it's super high-res models and an otherwise, like, uh, what was it? Seventh generation, a seventh so. generation lighting. Yeah, seventh generation lighting system looks weird. Uh, especially Keith David's character. I do not remember Keith David. Keith. Yeah, he better. He does. Yeah, uh, Captain Anderson. That's the name of his character. Captain Anderson. Uh, he looks especially odd because in their attempts to uprise him. They made it where he has terrible acne scars. And it's really mm -hmm. weird because he had light acne scars in the original versions. But now it's like egregious acne scars. And it just kind of like demands your attention every time he hears the scene. And you just can't stop staring at them. So it's weird. Uh, the other thing, what else did I want to say? Oh, I'm going to try and be more daring with dialogue choices in this game, because when I first played through Mass Effect, uh, the Mass Effect trilogy, I didn't start to really go with uh, renegade dialogue options until Mass Effect 3, and it was around that point that I found out, oh, playing renegade's actually fun, because Shepard's still technically a good person, he's just a dick, or she's just a dick, which yeah. uh, I, go with, I go with female Shepard, because I hate male Shepard's voice acting, and yeah, I'm going to try and do that a bit more. And that is the nice thing about Mass Effect is that, you know, just little dialogue options. You don't have to go Paragon or Renegade. You don't have to build all that way. Particularly in Mass Effect 1, you could just invest in a skill tree to buff the uh, good dialogue uh, skill checks and the bad dialogue skill checks. So, which is uh, Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 I love, but Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 have this awkward thing where when you have the Paragon and Renegade uh, skill checks and dialogue 
it checks uh, it doesn't check like an RPG skill that you invest points in. Instead, you just have a Paragon meter and the Renegade meter, and it just checks how much Paragon meter you've got or how much Renegade meter you've got. Now, I, if memory serves, you can build up by both meters. So if you go and do all the side content, you can still build up the Renegade meter and the Paragon meter both. So there is that, I guess. But yeah, Mass Effect 1, it is kind of... It's a difference of systems. I guess it makes sense if it's just encouraging you to have Shepard behave consistently instead of just being a jackass who is, like, super nice and trying to save everyone one mission, and then the next mission he's like, sacrifices must be made! And then you <laughs> drop <laughs> all your squad mates off the fucking platform into hell. But at the same time, you know, there are some times where it's like, well, fuck me, this is a logical choice to make, but I can't make it because I've been going, you know, goody two-shoes the whole game. Now, suddenly, I can't be ruthless on this one part, part where it makes more sense to be ruthless. I had the same issue with uh, Infamous uh, Second Son. Because uh, Infamous Second Son, in the ending, you can only get the choice to... Uh, it it depends. You either get like a... Fuck, I don't even remember what it was. But I definitely screwed up something with morality in the end there, because there was some choice of, like, kill or do not kill this character. And, like, you didn't get the choice if you had gone anywhere on the good path, if you are anywhere on the good path at all, or it was something like that. And it bugged the shit out of me. Right. Yeah, you should always retain your free choice, regardless of how you're playing the game. Especially if you've got a morality system built in place. And it's a fun bonus mechanic, but that shouldn't be what really controls your quote-unquote destiny. You should always well, retain the right, right to, to wake up and choose violence. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, man, Mass Effect 2 is filled with so many good moments where you can just choose violence. Uh, I, I want to talk about that in just a second, but uh, yeah, the, the good thing is, like, all the big important choices, there are ways to set up uh, certain story choices so that you don't have to rely on passing dialogue checks. Like, there is a particular uh, incident, there is a there is an instance where two races come into conflict in Mass Effect 3. And if you want to save both races, then there is a dialogue, a super hard dialogue skill check you have to pass. And uh, if you do not pass it, one or both races get themselves wiped out. And it's horrifying because it's a complete fucking genocide. However, you can also, just in case you haven't gone well enough into Paragon or Renegade, because it is, like, honestly, like, full-blown radical, you have to have maxed out Paragon or Renegade to pass this dialogue check, you can also just make sure that, like, things turn out well by saving one of the squad members in Mass Effect 2 and also trying to keep him having a good relation with another squad member. So, you know, there, there's multiple ways to solve an issue in Mass Effect. I like that. It reminds me a bit of New Vegas, you know? Yeah. Uh, but speaking of uh, choosing violence, I want to mention this. So Mass Effect uh, 1 did not have the interrupt, but Mass Effect 2 added them as a new feature, where in cutscenes, there sometimes would just pop up a little symbol, press left trigger to do a Paragon action right now and interrupt the dialogue, or right trigger to do a Renegade action right now. So it would be like, you know, I don't know. I, I don't remember what the Paragon interrupts were. There certainly weren't very many of them, because, you know, generally speaking, being a good person doesn't mean interrupting people. Probably not. <laughs> There's uh, one very good one where you go into a room, and there, a big uh, villain guy steps up onto a platform. He starts giving this big evil speech to you, and it's pretty well just you and him in a room. And he's just going on this long-winded speech, and even if you don't choose to take the interrupt option, Shepard still just starts rolling their eyes like, oh, for fuck's sakes, guy, I've run into a million of you. You're not special. <laughs> but the great thing is he doesn't actually look down onto what he's stepping on. He's walking around on what might as well be a super propane tank. So the renegade interrupt is just Shepard going, Shepard just pulling out his pistol and fucking shooting the, <laughs> the propane tank. I and you can, it. you can do it at any point throughout his villainous speech. You just wait for like a minute, like, okay, all right, this is going on too long. Bang. 
I remember there was another one where it was you had to inter- interrogate a guy, and he uh, d- isn't very helpful. So you get a, per- a renegade interrupt uh, option where Shepard just fucking big boots him through the window to his yeah. death. <laughs> oh, of course, the classic one. There's a renegade interrupt uh, action to uh, punch out a journalist who's harassing you. <laughs> Uh, Mass Effect is great. All right. Uh, The other thing I played this week was Total War Three Kingdoms again. Goddamn, that is a good game. Uh, The thing I am... I'm starting to get used to the structures of it. It's still... Three Kingdoms is one that even if you're a Total War veteran, you've got to spend a lot of time learning. Because, well, on the battle perspective, like, the individual battles, for the most part, you know what you're getting into pretty well immediately. You're happy. Because, you know, you just got the same old units you would in any Total War. Spearmen, halberdiers, swordsmen, cavalry, sword cavalry, archers, yada yada, so on. But on the campaign perspective, things are a bit different. Because now generals come in five different types. Commanders, sentinels, vanguards, champions, and strategists. They all can recruit different units. They all provide different bonuses to the army they're leading. And if they're not leading an army, they provide different bonuses to your... uh, provinces and it takes a while to get used to what each one does and while what they do in battle is fairly intuitive it's pre- pretty quick to it's uh, strategists provide buffs uh, commanders are just kind of generalist champions are good at killing other generals uh, sentinels are good at holding the line and vanguards are good at charging in and doing a lot of, lots of damage on the immediate charge But what they do in peacetime is an entirely different question, and some of it's not terribly intuitive. Commanders and vanguards, you really just don't want in charge of anything in peacetime because they suck at it, apparently. Yeah. Strategists strategists are good for uh, boosting commerce. Uh, Sentinels are just generally kind of good for just about all peacetime stuff. I don't know what the fuck uh, champions do because I haven't got a single champion somehow. I've got 20 nobles in my court, and none of them are champions. I've been getting mostly the ones that are terrible for leading in peacetime. I don't know how. The economics are also very different. They're very in-depth. Total War, generally speaking, economics vary from Total War to Total War. In Rome and Medieval, it's more about uh, boosting up farms, uh, boosting up trade. A lot of that is what you want to do. Shogun, it's about boosting up population and then spe- uh, boosting up population through food and then using markets to get money out of them. Three Kingdoms, there's a lot of approaches. It's very different. There's several different ways you can make money, and you kind of need to adapt depending on the city you're building into. What are the resources available? Because there's industry, and industry just prints out money by itself, but there's very few ways to improve it. Commerce, which doesn't put out very much money by itself, but if you build a lot of other buildings to support it, then it can pump out lots of cash. Or there's, you can build up the peasantry through farming and uh, lumberjacking, which you can then make loads of money off of them by either selling food to them or by extracting more taxes. But they each come with flaws, because if you sell food to them, that depletes your food supply, so you need to have more farms throughout the rest of the country to support that. Or you need to... uh, well, people hate having taxes collected, so you need to keep the military around to keep them from revolting when tax collection uh, makes them angry. So it's all very interesting and a lot more in depth than uh, like Total War Warhammer. Just outright, like most races in Total War Warhammer have the most simplified way of making money, which is just they have a money building. <laughs> yeah, the Empire is the simplest. Like it is just here is a money building. You can also build roads. Roads boost money. That's it. It gets a little bit more complex with some races. The Skaven are kind of a fucking mess onto themselves, and the Dark Elves have a whole system of slavery that you need to work with. But generally speaking, it's pretty simple. In Three Kingdoms, it's a whole advanced system of buildings, and what administrator do you have in charge? You should assign some nobles to boosting the cash. What's going on in the neighboring provinces? Oh, jeez. I like it, but it takes a while of getting used to, you know? But it's fun learning. It's fun getting into the discovery period of a game, you know? Yeah. 
if you're up for discovery, because sometimes you're not in the mood for learning a new game and you just want to play something you already know or play a game that's quick and easy to learn. But when you're in a mood to learn a game, then it's good to have a good game, a deep game to learn, you know? Absolutely. And that is my week. Eddie. All right. Well, for starters, remember how I said last week that I'm, I'm trying to record on Assassin's Creed 4 playthrough? Yeah. Recording blew up. All series is scanned. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It was cool. first from the beginning. Yep. But hey, I, st I still played through the game. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... What else is, is, is there that I can really point, point out about things? Well, I, I uh... I did a normal playthrough for for me, which is to say, like, you know, in in light of how like a couple of year, years back there was this whole whole thing where um, W kept kept saying that I I like I rushed through play games and shit like that. I was like, I'm just gonna do a normal playthrough and then just I watch it back since I have it on recording. Well, I was going to have it on recording, but <laughs> that that went nowhere. <laughs> but like, Whoops. watch watch whatever part part of it I had recorded. And then just look at the stats. Let's see how, how much I actually do play through games. And having finished Assassin's Creed 4 with just a normal playthrough, I got 80% of the game done. And that, that's having skipped some of the content that would, that would have looked better on recording. Because, <laughs> like, you know, you, 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 don't, you don't need to record, record freaking diving into all, all of the fucking. The, shipwrecks because it takes ha half a day and they're not fun at all <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that so yeah i don't know i don't know i don't really know what to say about Assassin's Creed 4 it, it, it is a lot more like, glitchier this time around than the last time i played it <laughs> i don't know why but it, it, it's it, at least it's not game breaking bugs it's usually just freaking uh, the kill animations becoming noodles. It's weird, but hey. And aside from that, it, it is still Assassin's Creed 4. The story still exists. Yep. The, the gameplay is still sailing. So, you know. <laughs> the gameplay is still sailing. <laughs> I, I, I remember I had an argument about because uh, my lo one local friend was, uh, well, uh, he may still be, I don't fucking know, I don't care, but <laughs> he was really into pirates. So when Assassin's Creed 4 <laughs> came out, bless you, well, actually a bit, bit after, after that, uh, he, he got Assassin's Creed 4 and, and we played it and I was like, this game sucks. And he was like, no, but pirates. And I was like, pirates are lame. And he's like, no, but pirates. And then, then that was basically the, the argument. But I, I, I remember... Him going, him going. Oh well, the the freaking the pirate the pirate crew are better than the the recruits in, in Brotherhood because there's more of them, and that sure is an argument, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, te technically, I don't really understand it, but it's definitely an argument. Like the th the thing is, the, the the assassin recruits didn't have a lot of character, but they still had names. The pirate the pirate the pirate people don't even have that, <laughs> so. For all, for all intents and purposes, they're the less of less less people. They are they're numbers. They they're just another another thing that takes away. Ah, uh, but yeah. You know, I thought thought about like freaking writing a whole big freaking Assassin's Creed rent, just just to get it out of my system again because it, playing through Assassin's Creed Four opened up the freaking the wounds again. But I was like, you know what? No, <laughs> let's not. <laughs> Cause like no no matter how much I freaking I rent about Assassin's Creed anymore, it, it doesn't fucking matter. We're we're not going going back to how things were, and like I don't have enough faith in in whatever Ubisoft is doing to think that that whatever whatever is coming after the RPG shit dies down will be good. Cause they fucked this up. They they eventually fucked the original original up. They fucked this up even faster. So. 
probably probably whenever there's a, there's the next freaking gameplay change for Assassin's Creed, that's when the series pro like properly dies. See, because it seems like they just print money no matter what they do. I don't know, cause the the last like over okay, no, 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 the last two games, cause Valhalla came out, but. <laughs> Odyssey, Origins and Odyssey sold well because the or, or, or Origins was different and Odyssey was ancient Greece. But they still didn't they still didn't make as much money as Assassin's Creed 3. Which was surprisingly surprising to me as well. But Valhalla had bad sales, apparently. <laughs> because people are already getting sick. the formula again. Yeah. And, and that's what that's what I'm saying. Like they fucked this up. They fucked they they fucked up this formula so fast. Like it's three games. The last formula lasted seven. <laughs> this one this one lasted three. And I mean that's partially partially because Assassin's Creed one through four. Assassin's Creed one two one two one through four were more linear. They were smaller games with with you know less collectibles and shit like that. Less bloat. There wasn't a whole lot to them. Like I'm not, I'm not claiming that there, there were there were this like, in, like very well lived in world, worlds that you could get immersed in or whatever the fuck. I don't, I'm I, no. But they were smaller in scale and had less bloat. But with the switch over to the RPG uh, genre, they freaking they made the side content uh, necessary unless you want to be heavily under leveled and because of how. For whatever reason, they decided that the level system should work. Being under leveled means that you can't actually play the game. Yeah, and there's just so much bloat, and none of it matters. Yeah. So, like, if they, like, I don't know what the next big thing will be that they will they will try to copy. I like, got. If if this were two years earlier, I would say freaking Assassin's Creed Battle Royale, but Battle Royale games are kind of dying down now because it's all just Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. So like, who who knows what the next big big freaking uh, genre thing to copy will be? But they are probably probably waiting for for something to rear its head so they can copy it, and they're going to fuck it up even better. And and that that formula will probably die in a game. Like may maybe two at most, but it, if it's something something that they they can put bloat into to to claim claim that you 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 need to play the game for five hundred fucking hours, then they're going to do it, and they won't care about the quality. Well, I think a lot of the question depends on what are they going to blame it on, because I I, I do wonder if like with Valhalla, Valhalla had a lot of uh, stuff going in, people talking about how Vikings were handled in general. And it hit that uh, apolitical games crowd uh, pretty hard because they were rather angry that you could be a gay Viking. I mean, I, I, I guess. Not to say that that um, is the actual problem because I don't think many people actually care that much. I think that that's just a vocal minority. But that's the, the question is part of the mytho not mythology. That's the one historical aspect that I didn't hear about at all until you mentioned it. Yeah, like, I, I've heard it's very historically inaccurate, but nobody's ever mentioned gay Vikings to me. So I, I legit had no idea there was that kind of controversy. Yeah. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, th that I've heard about problems with Valhalla. But honestly, another thing with Valhalla, I think, really, is people not like the one that's always the games that always come out at the start of a new generation are always going to suffer, and doubly so with the PS5 having the problems it has and the Xbox Series X having the problems it has, which is to say that they don't exist for most people. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but most of most of the issues with Valhalla aren't console exclusive like you know it's, it's not a thing where they rushed it out because we need to get it on the new system it needs to show off this 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 thing and that thing and that other thing most of the issues that i've seen people raise are just the historical in inaccuracies and the game some of the right. gameplay changes that they have made between odyssey and that right but people aren't buying the game people are not buying the game because they most people can't but it is on ps4 now, and xbox one all the same Yes, yes, but is it an inferior version? No. 
uh, the, res the resolution is inferior, but that doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, people get, I don't know, people ain't so big on getting inferior versions of games nowadays. Now people are better informed. I was like, the, the only thing that, that the, the new gen ver version of Valhalla has over the old gen one, or whatever, the current gen one, as far as I know, is just ray tracing on Xbox One and 4K on bo both systems, and that's about it. Aside from that, it's, it's just the same game. I yeah. think one of the big reasons why people wouldn't be getting this game on the previous slash current gen is that even if they don't have this next gen console, it could be something that, oh yeah, I'm intending to pick this up, sometime in the near future. So I'll just go ahead and wait on this game that is out on that console, because once I actually get the console, once it's actually out in stores, that, that's something else I can pick up with it, and then I'll, I'll be set. It's like, but wasn't, wasn't why Valhalla, waste your money wasn't, now wasn't Valhalla one of those or a game games on a already... console that you're inevitably, inevitably going to shove in the closet soon when you can get that very same game on this next console that you'll have at least four or five years with, maybe even six. But yeah, Ping, but I, I wasn't think it's Valhalla just a matter of, of wasn't Valhalla one of those uh, games where they advertised uh, have, if you, that if you buy one, one copy of the game, you get the other two. Because if I remember correctly, this is true. If I remember correctly, they were heavily pushing that if you buy a PS4 copy, then you get the PS5 copy as well. But when you Th put this the PS4, is true. A lot of PS5. games are doing that. The, uh, what is it? What what do they call it? What's that fancy word? It's uh, forward, forwards compatibility, I guess. Yes, forwards. I kept wanting to say backwards compatibility. I'm like, no, that's that's quite the opposite of it. Forwards compatibility. That makes sense. Yeah, a, a lot of it games have been hyping up the forward compatibility. I would I would say that like even like with historical inaccuracy, I think your average Joe doesn't give a shit about historical inaccuracy. I know, but the I mean, average, average Joe g gives a shit about plot physics, which are apparently absent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I don't. I don't think they care about cloth physics until they actually play the game. I don't think that's something they'd look up on Google. But no, it's it's not something not something they look up on Google. But I, I'm assuming that that if the world has reached me, and I, I'm I'm pretty caught up from the Assassin's Creed community now. Then, then, then it probably needs other people too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I... the historical aspects of it, or the controversies of it, will put quotation marks in front of controversies. It's that it's uh, more of a niche thing. It's uh, not something that affects your average gamer, but there's definitely a large player base. I would assume that does or did enjoy previous Assassin's Creeds for their historical accuracies. Because, uh, me personally speaking, I picked up Odyssey just because it had so much accuracy with their old Greece-type settings, whereas I completely avoided Origins because that was very out of line with a lot of the historical stuff. So I was like, nope, I, I want nothing to do with that. It's not my, not my thing. If if I remember like, correctly, correctly, Valhalla still has a discover, discovery mode because, you know, what is the discovery mode? Discovery mode is the thing that it plays a database. Discovery mode is a separate game mode where where you just play as any character from the game, really, in the game world, and they tell you about about um historical stuff with with, with their portrayal of the game and then explain how it differs and how it's the same. I've got to assume that they're like. I don't remember if the discovery mode is in Valhalla. If I remember correctly, it is. But if it is in Valhalla, then I, I like I have to imagine there's like four different paragraphs of paragraphs of, on everything. That's just like this is all made up. Like we, we, we don't we don't actually oh. have we don't actually have actually have freaking uh historical re re records that people read about Bayaga. She's just here for <laughs> some reason. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, isn't most of uh, Valhalla set in England? Yeah. I think it would have performed better had it avoided England almost entirely. Though that does kind of hinder the Viking raids, I suppose, that they really wanted to do for some reason. I, I personally would have stuck with Norway and out in Wales and whatnot. I would have just left England alone because nobody likes England, let's be honest. 
Well, it does lead to one of the problems that people did have with uh, Valhalla that I saw that I found very interesting, which is that Valhalla, like, bizarrely takes up the perspective of colonialism is good as long as it's against Christians. I don't know if you guys were paying attention to all that. I, I, avoided, every, I, every, every, everything, I avoided everything about Valhalla I could. <laughs> so, I, I am... Oh, okay. Well, I am probably very ill, Ill informed because most of most things that I have seen, I've seen in the past couple of months. But I, I've, I've I've been like, okay, maybe I should give this a look because I I I, I was very into Assassin's Creed at one point, and then like, how how much could they fuck it up? And, and that, that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> how much? This much? Let us show you. The uh, yeah, just the way. My understanding is that the meat of the story in that game is Vikings colonize England and get rid of the evil Christianity, and it's good. And that's the story. Yep. And it's very supposedly very distinctly lacking the nuance that was uh, that the earlier Assassin's Creed games were famous for having, because Assassin's Creed One was famous for having both sympathetic and unsympathetic Christian and Muslim characters. But yeah, but grave riding, it's good, y'all. Grave, grave riding, choose, choose your own adventure. It's great. But <laughs> the ultimate question is just what does Ubisoft's marketing team think went wrong with Valhalla? If they think anything went wrong at all, which if the sales were below anything below, we made a billion zillion dollars, then yeah, they probably think it's a failure knowing the modern games industry. So the question is not what actually went wrong. The question is what they think went wrong. Yeah. So from the perspective of the marketer who does not think about things the way you or I do, you know, what was the problem? And I wonder if it was they thought that the game was too political because it's, because it's so anti-Christian and because you can play a gay Viking. Do they think it's because of the platform issues? Do they think it's just because they've run out of fuel with this method and it's time to torch and slash everything and start all over again? Like, we'll just see. Because we may see another um, Assassin's Creed set in this Witcher ripoff style that's just suddenly a much less political setting. I mean, co considering the way the series has been going, the marketing, marketing people will look at this and they will go, oh, obviously, we just didn't put enough fantasy into this game. That's what people come yeah. to Assassin's Creed for. Fantasy RPG. Yes. <laughs> the trouble is that when you make the game an RPG, you have to add crazy bullshit for the later levels. You can't just have fight it, dude it, it, in It's almost armor. like everything becoming an RPG sucks. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, what a funk. Oh, but anyway, that, that's that rant. <laughs> Then I also played Okami. The, the freaking my save file for it got got deleted in the Matt Hardy purge, so I had to restart completely. And I, I've been enjoying it. All right. Like it, 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 it is just like I'm looking, looking at the th different things, and I'm, I'm just comparing, comparing them because people say Okami is basically just Zelda, so I, I'm, I'm trying to compare it to my limited amount, amount of Zelda, Zelda experience, and I'm like, you know, maybe I would like Zelda if the freaking the combat mechanic didn't suck in most of the games. <laughs> yeah, because that's that's the thing that really sets apart Okami. The freaking Devil May Cry. My favorite is how they, the, um, I've gotten to the point where they introduced the sub-weapon system. So I, I immediately uh, put the freaking the first weapon you get into the sub-weapon slot. And whenever people try to hit me, they get Izuna dropped. Immediately. Neat. Yeah. It's cool. So that... Uh, what else did I do? I did draw a couple things. So let me get some of those out. Words. Alright. So this is this is what happens when I'm when I'm bored and just don't know what to draw at this point. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> that's a really good Eggman. Yeah, that's my first try. Uh, not my first try, but my first actual finished Eggman. Definitely. <laughs> the only problem is the legs aren't long enough. There wasn't enough space. I know. <laughs> There's never enough space. Yeah. Oh, remind me to never send you the fucking leggy zone. Holy shit. <laughs> so, I've been exposed to this video that's, uh, that's, uh, like, this, it, it's this fucking, it's this f furry song, I guess? I don't know. It's the guy, uh, some guy who is the main, main wolf, uh, freaking made a song about how his, his leg length is superior to yours, and it gave me it gave me emotional damage or psychic damage. I can't discern it at this point, but like I I I, I was I, that's the first time someone's music gave me dread. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I I was healthy into, into into the freaking the the song, and I'm, I'm like I need an adult. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that, that 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 show was an experience. I, like. No. Oh, uh, what, what else did I did I make? Because I did make something else. Hmm. Oh yeah. I remembered. Because I I, I just I, I never know what to draw. So here here's here's a boss three again. Fuck it, whatever. I, I try to go with more realistic freaking proportions, or at least whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever closest thing I can get. The best part is that I I, I don't know if the freaking the, the menacing is is bad or good. <laughs> it it's it hinging it's hinging in the middle. The what now? The menacing, the the Japanese around us. Oh. That's the JoJo thing for menacing. I see. I actually kind of like it. And then, uh, let's see. Did I do anything else? I don't think so. Well, no, I didn't draw anything else. <laughs> yeah. And then, the, the reason that I freaking I chose to go last... Is because I'm going on another rent, but this time I wrote it down. <laughs> okay. That's a professional rant. Yes. I don't. I don't know about that. <laughs> Think. Yeah. But yeah, let's let's see how how do I start this? Because it, 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 it I did write an intro, but it I don't know whatever. Let's just go into it. But, uh... This week hasn't even been that bad regarding shit, shit like this, you know, like the, the personal stuff. But there, there's just some things that I guess have been eating, eating away at me a bit on the long term. And paired with some of the some minor stuff, I figured it's better to write write it down so that y'all can interject and start and shit without me losing my track and having to spend ten minutes trying to figure out where I was. <laughs> ah. But one of the things that I, that I've been remembering a lot is when I had that freaking no argument with Ted a while back on the forums. Davia said that 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 he's told me before and which he has. That he's not sure if replacing my entity with this whole furry thing is a good a good idea, and I'm not trying to imply that there's anything wrong with that statement because it's something that needs to be said and needed to be said. But I'm not. It's not like I ever had a rock solid identity that I'm just throwing away because I'm trying to chase, chase like the trends and being with the cool kids because, yeah, furries aren't the cool kids. <laughs> <laughs> but, or if or if I did have an well, identity, chasing the chasing the cool kids certainly isn't. Oh, what am I saying? Oh, I'm forgetting. Okay. My brain. All right. Or if, if I did, ha did have all freaking an actual identity, then I am fucking blind to that <laughs> right now. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't see it. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, go the ahead. The thing is, like, we, the thing is, we can't tell you, you know? Yeah. 
I so, think, broadly speaking, what I probably meant when I said that and what Ted means is that you well, need well, to be I, comfortable I know, yeah, I, well, with well, your body, you know? Yeah. You, you just need to be comfortable with, like, what you look like already, you know? Yeah. I, I, I actually have no, no problem with what Ted said. Or, 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 I don't have a problem with what you said either. It's just, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I freaking, I am... Yeah, the, uh, the other keeps bringing it up. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did read right, right, right down of uh, this whole freaking thing where I go through, I went through all of my life and just looked at whatever identities I have had. Which is to say that, it, but all it boils down to is that, uh, let me see where it is because I'm um, I'm help actually reading reading the thing I wrote because it's very long and I'm, I'm trying to skip through it to make it faster, and I'm I'm help reading it so. Uh, what it what it all boils boils down boils down to is that I've always I've never really been like I don't feel like I've I've ever really been a person, like I've I've always just chosen some something some outside thing, that I have. That I had an inter interest in at the time, and just made made it so that was me, and I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have multiple dimensions, you know. Yeah. And then uh, let's see where I, where I can continue because I skipped a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I guess this is a good, good, good sentence to pick it up with, but... It, 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 seem, it seems like to me that, that like, I, that this is a very freaking bad simile, but whatever. Like, it, it, it is, it, it does feel like I put all, all of my bags, bags in, a, in one basket, and, and now I can't do any, anything. The, the eggs are, are falling down in slow motion, I'm just yelling no, and that's all I'm capable of. <laughs> so... <laughs> there are... It's nothing to be ashamed about, you know, the whole furry thing. Yeah. Because, like, really, it, like, it's, it's just wearing an outfit. It's just finding a certain kind of aesthetic uh, appealing and funny. But at the same time, you shouldn't make it everything in your identity. Like, you can have a core to your identity, of course, but there should be more. You should step out, yeah. you know, and find other things that you like and uh, you consider fundamental to who you are, you know? Yeah, that, that's the that, that's actually the next, next point. That's what I was trying trying to go go with the freaking the, off of the simile, but but that's the thing that uh whenever like I am I have been try trying for this past year to, to find the other other parts of me as well. But whenever I whenever I freaking I try to look for look for things, nothing comes up. And the the furry thing and being ace are the only thing that are there. But the part of me that freaking I don't I don't know. Like the, the 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 other part of me just hates those because I I've I've spent so so long time trying to discard those that those being the only th only things left of me that I know know are me is revolting to it, I guess. <laughs> well, unfortunately some degree of self-resentment is just natural human impulse which Generally speaking, like I, I've said before, that like I just did it, uh, fake it till you make it. I just told anytime I got that impulse to say, "Man, I fucking suck," I tried to instead correct it to, "Man, I'm pretty cool, all things considered." Which, of course, I eventually did go too far and become kind of an asshole, but I balanced things out from there. You know, yeah, I, I went from one one end of the spectrum to the other, and then I wound up, you know, at, at a pretty comfortable place, all things considered. But I think also you're in a position where you don't get much opportunity to look outside of what you've got going on. If you if you get what I'm saying, because yeah. I, I don't entirely get what I'm saying here. I, I think I get it, but but if if you can elaborate, then I I'd, I'd appreciate it. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I I think I get uh, get 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 the, get the message, but I want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, it's just. It sounds like with everything that goes on in your life, 
you operate within very limited bounds. And that's not to say that it's your fault. Though I think you do intentionally limit yourself in a lot of ways. But just that with the, your family and the uh, place you live and the uh, position you're operating in, in terms of career or lack thereof, you are right now, it seems like, uh, running in place. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it feels like that. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, when you don't have money, money is so, like, it. it's the thing, you know, uh, money is very important to doing anything in the world. And when yeah. you don't have money, your options for things to do just in general are very severely limited. And I don't think that there's uh, much that can be done to change that. And like in the position you're in, in the city you're in, being of the ethnicity you are, in the country you are in, in the continent you are on, limits your options further, you know? Yeah. I mean, it certainly doesn't doesn't help. Like one of the big thing I think about a lot, and like maybe I complain about it sometimes. I don't know because I I usually don't don't bring bring it up because it like it feels feels like I'm complaining like <laughs> whatever. But like you know, I do I do feel feel bad that I don't have a job and shit like that. But there's not a, not not a lot of options to begin with in in my city. Yeah, and I. I I mean I mean I'm freaking a bit of a predicament because I don't care about anything, <laughs> like that, that I don't have any any interest in any of any of the things that 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 are that would even be available to me. And even even if I even if I did, or even even if I even if I make the those opportunities for myself somehow, or uh, they're like because of how I had to be raised, because of my uh, medical problems and stuff like that. I very much have to be fucking pampered twenty four seven. It 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 doesn't feel good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed the start of what that statement. All I heard, I I heard that you need to be pampered, but I didn't hear the uh, beginning of that statement. I said it be, because because of how I had to raise because of my medical stuff and and, and things like that. It it feels like I have to be pampered twenty four seven. It it it's like it, it ain't good. <laughs> That's the general. Kid impulse, though. Yeah, you probably had a lot more of it than I did. It's, yeah, it's one of the things about getting used to being an adult, though. You know, yeah. Which, on one hand, like it, it is awkward getting out of that zone when you're you so used to it, and you know, adulthood has certainly got its problems. And Mike would disagree with me here. Mike's always been of the opinion that adulthood sucks, but I don't. I don't mean to be mean to Mike here, guys. But Mike's a bit of a man child, <laughs> and adulthood does come with its own, you know, benefits. It comes with a lot of responsibilities as well, of course. But you know, it comes with its benefits. Yeah. And I wish Pink would talk here because Pink's the most adult-like out of all of us. I don't have a job because I'm still in college. Pink I'm not only, a psychiatrist. I don't know what to say. Yeah, Pink, 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 Pink only talks about stuff like this when you're not here because it's for him. <laughs> <laughs> like I, you know, I do feel better, better about just freaking having having the, these record, recorded psychology session, sessions in the podcast every fucking week. Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, if if they, like. It's not really a problem, but I will admit there are some days where I'm like, oh boy, Maya was not in the mindset for this. Time to go from laughing. <laughs> it's time for time to go from the fucking fecal funny to serious psychology talk. Oh fuck. It's like I have to like turn on the fucking reset button on the back of my brain, like on off, <laughs> on off. There we go. Get your closet real quick, grab a white coat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a part, a part glasses, of, a part, even though I've got like fucking thirty thirty vision. Yeah. <laughs> no, then, then you then you need two pairs, but neither of them have actual glasses. Uh, glasses in them It's just the frames, two frames on top of each other. <laughs> just frames of glasses. Yeah. I now have well, ninety nine. Just, 90. just the frames. I can see what's going. I can see the by it, the fucking bug, the little uh, germs on my microphone. It's disgusting. <laughs> 
But yeah, like, like I, I, yeah. I, I feel, I feel better about doing doing this partially because y'all never talk about your your personal problems. <laughs> yeah, I have too many. It takes too much time. I mean, on, on, honestly, I don't have problems with me. I have problems with other people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm the greatest. What are you talking about? I'm the greatest. Cancel that. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, that doesn't work. Fuck. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> oh, no. what's what's the greatest? Is it VVGG? I I think it may be. No, it's a good. Gets a good game. That's the that's the only one I fucking that's remember. Which which one is I'm the greatest? VVEG? Something like that. It, you're the great. You're the greatest. Cancel that. Or no, you rock. Cancel that. I'm yeah. the greatest. There we go. Yeah, very v- 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 VVGX. <laughs> oh man, the, the, the only mean... smart knowledge. <laughs> That we really retain <laughs> is to- to- toxic freaking VGS. Like, uh, the thing is, like, yeah, I have been through a lot of what you're talking about. I don't think I had it as bad as you have, but you know, I had, but I talked with Soon and I talked with Ted and Steve and to a lesser degree, uh, Grammar. And well, I don't think I ever talked about it with you, but I, that would have been around the time where I was talking with you, but it would just been about us playing D&D and such with Ted and so on. Yeah. The whole, the whole Christian gang. <laughs> yeah. Except Derek, because Derek's never fucking around when you expect him to. Derek's got, Derek has this magic ability that when you forget about Derek, Derek returns. You know? Have you guys yeah. ever noticed that? <laughs> Yes. Yep. Every once every three months, he he goes on Discord. I don't know what he does on Discord, but he I, I see he see him be on Discord for ten minutes every three months, and then he never uses it otherwise. I get that he's a busy guy, but why does he come back then? Oh, he, he so misses us. Lovable. Yeah, I, I like I, I, my favorite favorite thing, thing about Derek, Derek is how. He's still using the avatar I made for him like eight years ago, but it's it, the link is broken, <laughs> so yeah, he has no avatar. <laughs> yeah, it always bugs the shit out of me every time he goes back on and posts something. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sakes, it's so tacky looking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, God. The the, 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 the last thing that oh, I yeah. yeah go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I was going to go off topic. But yeah, uh, the last thing that I really, really wrote down was just uh, kind of kind of what you said too with the freaking the going going over over a bit thing that like I do hold myself back with with the furry stuff too just because I like because I don't know where it ends and I don't know like well, also- the, the 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 freaking like and the unknown is scary. <laughs> I'll say for my part, I obviously you have your own take here, but for my own part, I'm happy that I went overboard and then pulled back rather than just being too scared of being arrogant and just never going there and still being uncomfortable with myself, you know? I mean, it's it's better to go overboard and then pull back because then, then you know where the limit is. I, yeah. I'm just, I, I just don't don't know, like, there, there's this freaking thing, thing, in, thing in me that's like, don't, don't do it because, because it may put a strain on your relationships again. <laughs> I don't have I mean, any... the thing is, yeah. your family sound like a pretty forgiving lot. They are. They. Like, they I, like I, I locked out. I I locked out with my family because all all of them like, I like obviously we all have, we all have freaking family family issues very very small small ones because we we are all people. But like, my I locked out with my family being very good. <laughs> they are they are very very supportive and very very forgiving. Yeah. And if you go too far, like, we, we we will warn you. Yeah. Like, we're not, like, scared to offend you. We want to be honest with you. And, like, and it's that's not really my that friends. much hassle. <laughs> that's not, it's not too much hassle on me or Pink, because, I mean, in 2018, I was kind of a dick. Remember when I said I wanted to stop doing videos because we, they weren't getting any views and I felt like I was wasting my time? Ah, uh, yeah. That was a dickish thing for me to say. That was and a would- dickish sentiment for me to have. <laughs> and then I said, "No, fuck you," and he stuck around. Yeah, and I mean, we did the inverse of it. We freaking last year, I guess, like technically, because 
I, I think I've said this on a podcast before, but like, if not for this fucking furry thing, and if it, y'all y'all were, wouldn't have been supportive, my freaking depression wasn't was it bad enough that I was like, I'm probably gonna quit the podcast podcast in like two months, and I'm just gonna be an editor. Because <laughs> I, I oh like, god yeah, because yeah, I, I was like, get rid of all all the fun of recording gone. Now it's time for just the work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I, I like you guys, so I still, still would have wanted, wanted to freaking be involved somehow. But it, it felt to me like I was so unfun to be around, around that I, around, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. That I found that I was just so unfun to be around. That, like, or at least I thought that I was so unfun to be around that I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remove myself. It's better this way, or it would have been better, better that way. Is what I thought. And then, then, then the key, the big push came for freaking like that's a funny thing that I have learned by the way. If I, if I can go on a bit of a ten- tangent, is that apparently there there's freaking like three three casts of fairies. Because there there's, there's the people there's the people there's the people who, who... <laughs> keep going just keep going all right because there, there's the people who you know like like the anthro animals and they're like oh cool I like that so I'm I'm, I'm a furry. There's the people who are who are freaking in it for the fetish, which I mean, that's their thing. And there's the people who are who, who just f- get fucking born off, like me. <laughs> and it, it just freaking it, it just follows them through life. Because I've I've read enough people say say that freaking say th- things regarding regarding things that I I can sympathize with. That freaking Everyth- like it, yeah. Everything was fine until the fetish nation attacked. Yeah. I mean, like the the the, the furry fet- fetish part part of the com- community see, seems to be like it it, it seems to be, it seems like a weird weird freaking symbiotic relationship where like they're not they're not ostracized from the com- community, but like no 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 when no when no when it's time time for being horny. <laughs> it, it, it's, yeah, uh, it's kind of you you do you guys, K. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I, I didn't actually literally mean you do you. St- wait, n- no, 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 I'm here. No. <laughs> uh, 24 7, huh? <laughs> but yeah, then, then, then like, the, this, this isn't just the furry, furry thing, too, because one, once again, like, the. That other side of me is also freaking re- rejecting being ace, and it's it's like just too, like it, it, it legitimately has got gotten to a point where my, my other side is trying trying to prove to me that I'm fucking gay, and I have been for it has been for for a while, but like it's it's at a point where it, it's like okay, fuck it, whatever. Here's ver- gay werewolves. Just please give me something. Be gay. <laughs> <laughs> Like it, it does nothing for me either because I'm, I'm not gay. I'm ace, <laughs> but like it, it's funny. It doesn't sound like you know. No, I don't. Like it, that, that, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know for sure. But like, uh, I, I try not to talk about sexual stuff too too much, or don't don't, don't, don't go into too too much detail detail, detail with it because y'all get awkward and I, like it, I don't care because I have an oversharing problem. I I uh, yeah. <laughs> But like, y'all, y'all get, y'all get. <laughs> you awkward. say that as if we don't have to hear Pank talk about his thing for thick chicks from every now. <laughs> Pank, do you have that problem? What, what problem? Exactly. <laughs> but like, let's let's just say that I like I have I have enough experience in things. That I am still virgin, but I, I have pretty pretty good pretty good data data saying that I'm asexual because not nothing does anything to me <laughs> that I have tried. Okay, <laughs> Addy, I've got a litmus test. Let's do it. Here's the test. Yes. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, hang on. The test the, te- the test is fucked. The test needs a little bit of fixing. All right. Oh god damn it! I'm working on it. It's got some bugs to work out. Hang on. Hang on, let's see if this will work. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for them to just post fucking if. And I'm gonna left. <laughs> okay, the litmus test. Go. What are the results? What am I looking at? Well, the, the, my, my, resu- my result is it's sexy Flanders, but... My, my, 
my, my result is I, I can I, like I can point out the things that the things that other people would find sexy, but I don't, I don't I, like it does nothing to me. <laughs> I don't think anyone unironically finds sexy Flanders sexy. No, no it, it, people only do it ironically, but yeah. <laughs> but, then, but then there are some people who go nuts for Marge, which I really don't. Oh, get. true. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, it's it's gonna come come off freaking very hypocritical, considering I'm I'm I'm, in, I'm into freaking cartoon animal people. But like, I don't get how how pe- people are into cartoons that they grew up with, at least. Because like, I, I I can look at fucking Sonic the Hedgehog and be like, oh yeah, what what a fucking punk. No. I, I grew up with Sonic. He's always been there. It's it's like fucking my grandma. Like no. <laughs> well, I think for a lot of people, it's that weird, like uh, almost pubescent uh, discovery of the idea that you should find other things attractive, right? Yeah, the, yeah. The, the thing, the thing that it's I like do... how the first yeah, go ahead. For a lot of guys, their first crush sticks around hard, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. And for a lot of them, it was fucking slave Leia. I mean, uh, funny memories. Well, that was probably the first time a lot of nerds had seen a half-naked woman. So true. Can't blame. Yeah, yeah I, I did. <laughs> I mean, you're, I'm you're, almost 100 like, willing to bet that it is a woman from a comic book for Pink. Hmm. I mean, y'all hmm. might y'all might need to freaking test me what the question is. To me. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Which one? The question, Pink, is: Is it Kitty Pride or is it Rogue? Rogue. Uh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Understandable. <laughs> See, with Ro- Rogue, though, you need to hear a voice. That's the thing for me. It's the accent that sells it. Right. Oh, Savage Lands Rogue. There we go. I, yeah. I forgot about that, but now I remember it. <laughs> How could you forget? You heathen. I, I, it, there's nothing more ridiculous to me than when they stick the Savage Lands Rogue attire in the video games. And it's like, it, it's guys, it's just a costume of her having half her fucking clothes ripped off. How is that special? <laughs> is it like some kind of ripped jeans style that Rogue's doing intentionally? Yeah. Uh, you if never I, know. I, I, po- if post, I were post, Professor post Xavier, that. I'd be fucking pissed. Post God post damn it, I had that costume made spe- especially, Rogue. <laughs> you didn't need the costume more than anyone here. Yeah, I was about to... Yeah, now in case anyone ever punches Rogue in the gut, then they fall over. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, 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 y'all might need to explain what the crush is proper- properly to me, because like it, I could have some interesting answers. <laughs> Honestly, because <laughs> uh, this... oh, it's not like it's not like actually sexual. It's just like yeah, a pretend imitation of it. Of course. Yeah. Right. Because like my my, my first my first infatuation. My my first my first modern modern crush was freaking what modern. My first human crush was fucking Avril Levine. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you joined. It? Yeah, there's a big crowd for that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Really soon. But <laughs> oh boy, three of you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, during that time and even 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 before that. I had a I had a fixation on on, on uh, freaking antro squirrels, which led to freaking <laughs> yeah, which 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 probably led to led to the freaking the nickname my oldest sister gave me, which she still calls me because she she just calls me squirrel at this point. And I mean that's like considering I'm, I I became a wolf, it, kind of funny, <laughs> kind of kind of a funny coincidence. <laughs> Uh, I used to be really into Japandale. The the Dusk Rangers, I mean, not the not, not the not the people I'm guessing. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Ooh. Uh yeah. What 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 oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 uh, actually now that, now that I think about it. Just fucking just fucking was hard that to, to like over there? What? Was it named Chip and Chap or Chip and Dale over there? The Rescue Rangers. Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Okay. But like I was about to say, this fucking hard cut to that stupid video the creatures did where Nova hired a male stripper to come and dance on, give a lamp dance to Kutra. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh God, that just that's bad memories right there. Yep. That that whole time period when they were in the office and it was like very clear that they were like Kutra was like starting to really show and they were having to force James to do all kinds of shenanigans just for views and it, you could tell the dynamism was gone. You could tell the dy- that just like the whole group thing was gone by that point. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, but, like the moment to me, it was like the moment the sly left, it was over. That that's to me the the moment of like, oh well, pfft, done. You know. I stuck around for a long while. I don't remember when I quit. I think it was. Uh, I think there was definitely a power struggle after he left because Nova was always uh, probably the one with the most subscribers out of all of them combined. Sometimes. Yeah. And so I was the only other contender to that. Shame. So once he's gone and he was hardly there to begin with, it then sort of became okay. Now this is more or less Nova and friends, featuring Seamus, yeah. who was also a pretty big fan favorite. But he's he was also very niche. So but James was very clearly not the leader of the group. Co- Kuzma yeah. was clearly the one who was in charge. So it it then became Kucha leading it. And Nova was there. But we need to force. It, uh, but we need to force James. Yeah, but we need to force James to come into the office every day, even if he doesn't want to, because he gets mm-hmm. views. Yeah, and that's probably where the problems started to rise. Yeah, and I would also say, like Sly, like you could tell Sly was a guy who was good at handling conflicts and making things work out, because he was. That was always what he was good at doing in the videos themselves. And he seemed to get along with genuinely everyone, and then he's gone, you know? Right. Yeah. I I don't know what to think about that, because the thing is, he went, he got along well with everyone, but at the same time, it felt like he never was willing to stand up for anyone either. So, those aren't strong characteristics. It, it, he's yeah. a great guy, but when push comes to shove, he will be stepping out of the way of anyone who's looking to shove. So Yeah. I mean, Kutcher became the leader because he pretty clearly was the one who had seemed to form definitive opinions the quickest. Yes. Though those seemingly were also the wrong opinions. Often. Yeah. Yeah, that's very... De- the creatures are a big old what-if, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so are, 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 you, are you seeing this thing that, that in like 12 years when I, when I ship myself out there, we're not doing a freaking... Uh, Going going to our RTX freaking uh, journey vlog series. <laughs> uh, if we last that long, Rooster Teeth will buy us out. I guarantee it. <laughs> Rooster, Rooster, <laughs> Rooster, Rooster Teeth, Teeth will be dead. Was being bought out. Yeah, that's true. Well, whoever is the parent company of Rooster Teeth will buy us out. <laughs> Disney, the mouse. <laughs> the parent company, of that parent company. Well, the, the alternative is me and Pink move over, move over to Europe and we get bought out by the Yogs cast instead. Hey, that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, either, I either, way, either, Stalin, way, Mickey, either way, Mickey Mouse is coming, coming to our house. No. With, either way, Mickey Mouse is coming to our shared house, I guess. I don't, I don't know why it came out that way, but it, 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 it is now. But, <laughs> because, I mean, there would be no shared house. Yeah, there, there would be no shared house. You want, to pinpoint the, you want to pinpoint the first mistake the creatures made. There you go. <laughs> let's group up six incredibly rowdy pretty well teenagers and put them in charge of one big rather expensive house this can't possibly go wrong yeah <laughs> but like, like I, I, I think, would. like gassy magazine did some videos uh talking with uh, i want to say hutch after after the creatures broke up he did some videos talking about actually like what was like those early days where gassy was still there and yeah those guys burnt a lot of money by just fucking that house up and just turning it into an absolute pigsty. And like, guess he just explicitly says the whole thing was a shit idea to begin with. Like no one even knew finances at all. So like who the hell is supposed to be in charge of the business from the business side? You know? Yeah. Oh Lordy. Like not only would no one want to do that, but even if someone did do it, they didn't know what they're doing yet. Right. And they all like, all of them except for uh, Kutra had to be shipped halfway across the goddamn country. Yep. J- junk Junkyard already did live in the same area as Kutra, but they kicked him out, which was yep. another... Which, like, I, there is just so much there that is just nonsense. 
And, like, we still don't know what really happened with Chilled. We know that it couldn't have been too personal because Chilled and James get along now. But, like, what happened there, you know? Yeah. Right. And Z was pretty clearly out of it from the beginning because Z always get al- got along best with Chilled. And then Chilled got kicked. So Z was just, like, still there, you know? <laughs> Uh, it, it, I mean, it, not to act like Rooster Teeth is some grand success story, but yeah, if you, if you rank things that suddenly, you know, the Yogg's cast, despite, you know, still having plenty of fuck ups of their own, still wound up winning out of all the YouTuber conglomerates there, the LP or conglomerates. Yeah. yeah. If you're having a shared anything, it's going to be one shared studio. So we can, we can, we, we don't have to freaking like haul shit together. It's just going to be at one place. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I but, think the smart thing. I think the super best friends had the smart thing, which was just that Wooly had a little studio set up in his apartment. I mean, yeah. I mean, that that, that is that is the best possible option. It's just like you know, if if you have to com- compromise with, with where something is, then it's better to have a separate studio that everyone just goes to instead of you know house. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. They never made the recording situation too terribly clear with the Super Best Friends, though. I think that I think that they also just stuck to like the podcast was recorded at Wooly's studio, and just about everything else was recorded on the couch of whoever happened to own the game they were playing. You know? Yeah. Because it certainly seems that some lives, some of it was done like in Matt's apartment, because Matt's apartment is like super nice, and then some were much cl- uh, clearly done in Wooly's much more cramped apartment with the crazy and glorious bastards posters all over the walls. The uh, Friday Night Fisticuffs intro filming location, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like uh, what I was going to say is, that I, I'm just like no, no matter, no matter how uh, how we don't move together. Or like whatever. If we get big, big enough, the Mickey Mouse will come. Will come to our shared house that we don't. We won't have. But if we, Mickey Mouse will come to our <laughs> shared house with the freaking the the uh, the briefcase full of yen, and he's gonna pull a cousin Makiri. <laughs> a briefcase full of yen. Yeah, I'm here to make an offer in cash. Like thirty years after the fact of Japan being like the economic powerhouse of the world. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's funnier that that or or that it's Mickey fucking Mouse doing it. Yeah. <laughs> no, the greatest thing would be if it's that fucking nightmare run down Walt Disney World tunnel, Mickey Mouse. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were talking about Epic Mickey for a second, but no, that's better. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> going going back to the freaking to to my doctorate that I wrote. Your doctorate? What? You yes. can do that? <laughs> you can just write it? God damn! Let me get on that. That'll boost my like pu- that'll boost my employability by like a thousandfold. Holy shit! Let me go do that. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, like you, you, as I said, like I in theory, I I should have enough data. For me to be pretty sure that I'm fucking asexual, because like even even furry shit, like that's the closest I, I get to actually experiencing physical attraction now. I guess that 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 that, that, that was a fucking wild ride. Let me tell you, figuring that shit out, because I ain't getting any help from inside. But <laughs> but like e- even even that that's not another thing of like like it's it's not a. Not really a sexual thing, from what I can tell. It's just like, and I've, t- I've told this to Pink, so he, it's, it's just gonna be repeat to him. But it's not, it's not. It's not really a sexual thing. It's just more, more of a I want to be around them thing. Like be, being in their presence makes me happier for some reason. I don't get it, <laughs> but they. Community is nice. People are nice. Yeah. Well, I'm not talking about the com- community, but th- that too. But but I just just in 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 general the character character design like. Having furry shit in a game or whatever, or like you know, just seeing seeing people's art for whatever reason makes me happier. I don't get it. I don't get why. Like just be, <laughs> but hey, it it, it works. <laughs> so so why not? And the other thing that 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 has been bothering me that I wrote down here, but I skipped over it. But I guess I'm skipping back. Was uh, how a couple of weeks back when Mike was on the podcast, uh, we did we did discuss how I joke a lot about sexual stuff. 
and like you know it, it it's a it's an issue it, it, that that's an issue where like it doesn't bother me until you point it out and then it then it starts bothering me <laughs> <laughs> But like I don't know if it's a if it's a thing of um well you know as as we've said back then too like se sexual jokes are very easy to make I mean they're pretty much the freaking the adult the quote unquote adult version of toilet humor when you think about it but like yeah mm -hmm. but it it might may also be like like I I may gravitate towards making sexual jokes just be just because freaking like. You know, I, I spent so so long freaking deny, denying the, my lack of my lack of freaking and any fucking feeling when it comes to sexual stuff that that, that I'm I'm just freaking predisposed to to going. Oh yeah, I know sex. Our <laughs> sex. He's my best friend. Sex I'm is familiar. <laughs> well, what's the line from South Park? It's when the girl pees. It's the guy pees in the girl's butthole, right? Yeah. And of uh, course, the classic South Park thing of like, in some episodes, the kids know what sex is. In some episodes, they don't. Trey and Matt don't know. You figure it and out. It's transparent. Yeah, it's just transparently there so that they can write whatever episode they want to. Yeah. I can kind of respect that idea of canon of just, if I want to do this episode, I will bend canon to make it happen. The Louis Tunes <laughs> way. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Like, Pink, uh, Andy will see this because he brought the two best friends subreddit, but I wanted to mention it to Pink. Apparently, there was a thing in a recent Spider Man comic where, like, uh, Norman got, like, had a demon coming after him or something, Norman Osborne. And Spider Man was like, All right, Norman, even though I hate you, I'll save you. And they hop, they hop in, like, a plane with Spider Gwen. And Norman gets like, Ah, oh, Spider Man's trying to save me, so he won't hurt me even if I do stupid mean shit. I'm going to get all weirdly rapey towards Spider Gwen because holy shit, they're still counting sins past as canon. Did you know that? No. And I sh apparently, what happens after that? I didn't get to see it myself. Is after him acting all weird and rapey towards uh, Spider Gwen, Peter honestly just stands up in the plane, picks Norman up, throws him from the plane, and just says, "All right, well now you deal with the demon yourself, asshole," and they just leave. I don't know what happens after that. <laughs> I, I like to imagine that the demon just eats Norman. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. That's the end. Uh, they, they should. They should. They should do like a Spider Man. Yeah. That, I just want to say that would be so in character for Norman to get killed by that of all things. Just him being a dick. So Spider Man's like, "All right, fuck it. You're done." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gave you. I gave you a chance, Norman, and you abused it. Later. I used to have an okay rule, Roman, but you broke it. Yeah. And what's the stupid line he says at the end of Batman Begins? It's not, I'm not killing you. I'm just letting you die. Like, shut up, Batman. <laughs> I'm not killing you. I'm just not saving you. Yeah, that's, yes, that's the exact line. I'm not killing you. I'm just not saving you. Which is like, Batman, you put him in that position. This is still <laughs> killing him. <laughs> You know, I dropped a guy off a 30-story tall building once, but I didn't kill him. Gravity did. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not Batman firing the gun that kills people, it's the bullets. Yeah. Mm, precisely. Guns don't kill people, bullets do. <laughs> no, no, bullets, bullets don't kill people. Uh, the, 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 the Physics does. Yeah, yeah. Isaac the, Newton kills people. Yes. Isaac Newton has killed countless millions of people. He's, he's a menace he that needs to be stopped. <laughs> Isaac Newton is a menace that must be stopped. One well, of my favorite dialogue lines in Mass Effect is uh, Isaac Newton is the meanest son of a bitch in space. <laughs> uh, but is he, is, he, is, he, is he as much of a motherfucker as Einstein? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Who, who would you rather? Who would you rather fight, Isaac Newton, the war criminal, or Einstein, the motherfucker? <laughs>
I mean, uh, the great thing is, like, now the walls are super thin, so there's no doubt, no question. Like, the, the, the rest of my family could already hear, like, when I got particularly loud during recordings. They can definitely hear what I'm saying now. So I'm sure they're just sitting in the living room like, Einstein the motherfucker? <laughs> I guess he really hits Mets. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but they're not question, questioning freaking Isaac Newton be, being a genocide freaking <laughs> committer. Oh, that, no, that's everyone just, knows about that. that that's, a, that's a normal fact of life. <laughs> he killed millions of people by inventing physics. Like, come on. Yeah. What kind of menace does that? I'm just imagining like gra- gravity didn't exist before Isaac Newton. So it's just, like a Greek hopelite is just walking along and he starts floating off and he goes, oh no, here I go. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, here we go tell, again. Tell my <laughs> wife I love dinner. <laughs> Uh, for, for, for the 200 podcast, W puts us on speakerphone so his whole family can hear the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we have an audience. Yeah. This, this podcast is filmed before a live studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to uh, cheer and boo at our jokes accordingly. Yeah. No, 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 we need to modernize it. They don't cheer or boo. I they have say, to hold up a sign. Yeah, no. <laughs> they, they don't say, they don't, they don't cheer or boo. They need, we need to modernize it. They say plus one or minus one. <laughs> Heart, retweet. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if a joke is really funny, then they, they may say plus two. If it's yeah. really unfunny, they say it's minus two. That breaks the rules. Uh, I I dislike that joke so much. I will leave a vulgar comment in the comment section. Oh man, I, I don't know why, but I've been thinking a lot about one of my favorite uh, tweets ever, which was uh, someone. So Stephen Fry, famous actor and intellectual, and so on, is uh, also famously gay, and someone went on and left on his uh, Twitter just a, a tweet at him that just said. Without punctuation or capitalization, just gay fuck. Just no capitalization, no punctuation. And Stephen Fry very simply responded, No thanks, I'm married. <laughs> Food. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I could... I, honestly, the comment becomes doubly funnier when you try to imagine it through that lens. Just imagine trying to come on to someone like that. Just very, not even, like, it's. Like, you imagine, like, you say it flirty, like, gay, well, gay fuck? But no, it's gay fuck. <laughs> it's like you're getting... Walking up to him like that, like, hey, someone, we doing this? So, someone, so, someone needs to, needs like, to tweet, tweet at him a new, new thing with a zero punctuation and, and nothing, and that's just a straight fuck. See, it's what he replies to that. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, the closing thought on this whole thing, because <laughs> I have one of those as well, is how. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> just the, the idea is too is... funny. Of the of just writing writing at a at a well known gay person straight fuck. Oh, yeah, because anyway. then how does he answer that? I, I imagine the answer is just not to say anything, but it, yeah. it'll give him something to think about. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, shit. But yeah, so the last the, 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 uh, words. Word <sighs> cancel. <laughs> That's what romantic. we should rename it. It's not stuttering. It's not stuttering. You're just romant- You're just Roman canceling your words. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's it's it, 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 like the stutt- stuttering is not not Roman canceling your words. When 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 you when you freaking do a rap verse and it, it overlaps the two lines overlap. That's a Roman cancel. <laughs> it's no. speech. Stuttering is when you mash jab as a hit confirm. Yes. Definitely. And now we've hit to the point where Pink doesn't know what we're talking about. Yeah. (laughs) 
So, uh, thing, so stuttering, um, stuttering is when you do four Dorias and then it's freaking <laughs> don't do a fifth one, but instead, instead do other moves. Oh. If I see someone hit me with four electric wind god fists in a row, perfectly timed to keep me block stunned, I will concede the match and just let him finish me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so so the the, the last thing, last thing I wrote down about this whole thing it, it, it is a, it is about you know just the the process of accepting this whole whole thing, I guess. Which is that, uh, even even in the short amount of time I've actually freaking spent lurking in the in in the in in the furry community, I've seen a lot of people share the sentiment of oh don't don't fucking tell anyone it's a forever secret, nobody needs to know, and <laughs> like you know it, it a lot this is all this is very freaking like context sensitive, oh, sorry I didn't do the bit context sensitive there we go. I need to do it every time. I don't know why. <laughs> but did they say you need to hide it, or did they just say you don't need to go around telling everyone it? Because there is a they, difference. They, they're, 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 they're trying. To, they're wording it in the second way, but they're saying the the first one. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, and so, like you know, they 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 they're, they're saying, oh no, you don't need to tell everyone. But what they what they mean from 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 the from everything surrounding it is don't don't just don't just hide it. <laughs> And to me, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just have a, a weird, weirdo freaking definition of, of accepting oneself. But to me, ac accepting me is just being able to be like, okay, this is what I am. And whoever the fuck he is, I would like to know. But, you know, <laughs> that, that's the process we're going through right now. <laughs> but, like, you know, th this, is, this is what I am. And then just be able to, to weather the consequences of whatever, whatever that is. Because, you know. The, like there, there will always be people who dislike you just just cause, of one reason or, or another. Yeah, and like I've seen, like you know, uh, I, I've seen, uh, I've seen one, one guy posted that posted with with freaking uh, evidence. He posted that they got dumped because they were a furry, and the issue, like it is, well, it doesn't, it wasn't really that they were a furry. It was. A like it was a one-sided communication error where where the guy from from what we saw at least the guy the guy freaking uh let, let that girlfriend know that that they are they are a furry and the girlfriend immediately just went okay fuck you and then blocked him <laughs> and at that point I at that point in a, in a relationship I question if he, if she ever loved you like <laughs> that, he, that's that's pretty quick yeah because like. <laughs> Like, like you know, if if if, if someone reaction. if someone if someone you care about is not even willing to hear you out, like not not I'm not saying they, everyone needs to accept you because that's a separate thing, but if if someone you love is not even willing to to hear you out, out about stuff like this, then do they actually love you? The answer is probably no. <laughs> probably not. And like, guys, exchange yeah. moments like this is like that's not what they want to hear in the moment, but yeah, that probably is like probably with moments like that. Honestly, from the outside looking in, it's really hard not to just think, "Wow, bullet dodged." Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I got very lucky with this whole thing because my family is very, very supportive. I mean, it, yeah, my freaking dad, dad had a bit of bit of pushback, but like, that that's natural. <laughs> like, you, you know, you you raise a son for fucking tw twenty one years, yeah. twenty one years, and and then he just comes up to you and goes, "Hey, dad, hey, hey da, I'm a fucking wolf." Like, you know, you're you're gonna go, "What the fuck." <laughs> but even even between, there's a difference between "Are you sure, son?" versus "Fuck you, goodbye." And he just kicks the door and leaves, and never comes back. Yeah. <laughs> like oh. people don't want to be told. Like, okay, what was I going to say? Right. Like, even if he was like trying to say, like, "Son, I think you're making a mistake here." That's at least showing that he cares, you know? Yeah. And like he, he he didn't even go go that hard on that angle like Wild did, and even even when Wild did it, I like I didn't see it at the time until until point, he pointed it out. But I, I still I still was like, Wild is not making arguments in a bad faith, like <laughs> that that that's why it, that's why it partially didn't evolve into an actual argument in my eyes because like we were we were discuss, discussing the the issue and the reason, reasons for me being a furry and all that, 
but neither of us were really argue, arguing arguing about it from my eyes because because to me an argument involves you know bad fate or like not not, not bad fate but like it involves people people being aggressive and from what i could tell neither of neither of us were aggressive in that discussion <laughs> But yeah, like like you know, so, sometimes it, it is nice to see, like it, it is nice to hear hear about other people's struggles with this because it it it, it does give give freaking um, what's the word? I forget. Fuck it. Like you know, it it does give a different different point of view, and it does, it does show me that like despite some things being less as than optimal, because it it would be nice if my family family didn't didn't freaking think I'm I'm from some fucking sex fiend, <laughs> but like. Yeah, but like that, that, that. This is still very much preferable than being disowned just just because I'm a furry, you know. Yeah. And then say, say, same same with our friend group. Like yeah, freaking Ted, Ted and Brandon questioned it, and then when once we discussed it, they were like, okay, fine, whatever. You you do you, and that's how it should be. Yeah. Like I'm 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 not I'm not expecting it, anyone anyone to freaking to to like. To like this, I just wish I like. I just wish I I wasn't freaking like. I just wish that that other part of me wasn't freaking constantly bugging me about about how other people people potentially not liking it. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But like nobody has to fucking like it, aside from me. <laughs> and yeah, and like I did, I I like I really I like I don't. A lot of times I don't know how how to. Properly say say it, but I do appreciate a lot how much y'all have been helping me with this, both you and my family. Problem? God damn it, Discord! No problem. I've said that like three times now. I got it the last Discord, time. Discord, why think. you be like this? I got it the last time. <laughs> I think. Okay. And yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. The the the, the, end, the ending I wrote is not, not good, so I'm just gonna say thank you for coming to my TED talk. Oh, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. That, oh wait, there is something else I I drew, so we we can and 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 on something freaking jokey just a me, bit, yeah. <laughs> is it just me or does the Punisher skull on my shirt get angry or with every drawing of me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it just gradually increases. I mean, I, I wish, I, I wish I could stop drawing you like a fucking pug, because I'm, I'm trying not to, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a pretty big fan of how it looks like my bugs, my eyes are bugging out of my skull. <laughs> like, like I, I drew, I drew you like that, that freaking picture of pet from yeah. a while back. Pink. Have you seen the picture? I don't believe I have. All right, I'm getting it. Give me a sec. I'm not even that angry. <laughs> All right, Pink. So someone made this edit, edit of Pet from Super Best Friends, and th that's that's what that's what Dubby reminds me of. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there is a resemblance. You have to admit. I'm scared. <laughs> which is which is sc scarier, Pet or Zangief? I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> that pictures such as these don't even affect me. The dog looks kind of stoned, if I'm yeah. being honest. Yeah, Zang Zangief does look stoned, and Pet 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 is Pet hurts. Pet, Pet is the hurt. In fact, <laughs> Pet doesn't want to exist. He is regretting living. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other rational response. But yeah, the. Hang on, I need to check something. Yeah, that can't be real, can it? What? Oh my god. Shit is an acceptable word to trigger that emoji. 
<laughs> colon shit colon makes that. Okay, interesting. Nice. Uh, so I, I did also also freaking draw this, which I had remembered. But it, it, it is not as good as, as the freaking the Eggman. Lemon. That Kirby oh, is... Uh... Stanky. The fa the body is fine. The face, though, the, the lips. I don't like the yeah. definition on the lips. Kirby's supposed <laughs> to have simpler lips than that. Yeah, yeah. it makes him look like I say, in this photo. <laughs> dare I say you overdrew it? <laughs> I fucking love the si the Simpsons lemon no look on uh, uh, Sonic's face. He's he he's not hurt. He's he's not in pain. He's just disappointed. Lemon. <laughs> uh, then, <laughs> like, and to me, because like these are these are two separate things. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like these these are originally supposed to be two two separate drawings that I just do doodled around around with because I I didn't know what to draw. But but like I like how it just freaking like it. To me, to me, it looks like Kirby magic the lemon into Sonic's being. That is what Sonic is now, Lemon. <laughs> I can keep going with this. <laughs> the, Sim the Simpsons meme community moves in strange ways. Yes. Yes, it does. Bye, though. I'm so confused. <laughs> the Simpsons community has been gone for so long without good content, they just make their own bullshit up. Yeah. <laughs> the Simpsons was good until the Lemon Nation attacked. <laughs> It just keeps going. But why, though? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. I'm hoping that the d deeper I dig, the more it'll make sense. But it's actually making less sense. Have they edited lemons into every episode of The Simpsons? Maybe. Is this not a natural thing? No. I'm even more confused. Uh, <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> but there seems to there seems to be officially part of every villain's is lemons. Uh, funny you say that. Actually, give me just a second. Just a second. Hang on. Just a second. Oh god damn it, what Facebook? Who? What? I swear this will have a payoff eventually. <laughs> you know I I missed my cue to say you chicka chicka slim shady there, and I, I am disappointed. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. Bless you. Bless you. So someone edited that stupid lemon face onto the me and the boys meme of the stupid Spider-Man villains. Ah, uh, yeah. But unfortunately, apparently it's a Facebook picture, and Facebook makes their image uh, links way too long. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe Know Your Meme will have an answer. Why is the lemon of... The Lemon of Troy is a Photoshop meme that places the sour face of the Simpsons character Shelby's father after eating a lemon on the heads of other characters. The meme is popular on ship Simpsons ship posting. But why? Explain no your meme. We need answers. 
In this episode of Simpsons, this gar- character steals a lemon tree from Springfield, and when they ask for it back, he mockingly eats one of the lemons, which of course makes him do the sour phase. Yeah. Starting in January 2016, the Facebook account Simpsons Shit Posting began posting several photoshops in which Shelby's father's face would be superimposed on another character's body or an inanimate object. One of the earliest Facebook user Philip Levitsky posted a, a picture of a lemon with Shelby's father's face. Shelby's father's face superimposed on top of it. On, sure. On, on January 25th, 2016. Over the next few months, users continued to Photoshop Shelby's father's face onto different characters. We know the explanation, but it doesn't make any more sense. <laughs> I'm just confused now what? as I was 10 minutes ago. No, I, I think this is a Zoomer meme where, where, where the joke, joke is the, 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 the absurdity because, you know, like, random is not funny except when we do it. Mm-hmm. What the f- mm. Do Zoomers uh, know uh, what the Simpsons are? We, we have heard tales. <laughs> I like that one best, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I, did. I forgot to point this out. But if you if you zoom zoom back up to the freaking the thing I drew drew of us, like I don't I don't know why <laughs> the, the cat reminded me, but I don't I don't know why. But I have like I I have very very big freaking I just shit in your shoes, <laughs> energy, radiating. Uh, uh, that cat looks like it's about to shit in someone's shoes. Yep, <laughs> that, that's what that's what what made me remember. The cat looks like it is shitting in someone's shoes. Yeah. The, that cat is the shitting in someone's shoes. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Uh, people so, make no sense. Yeah. Do we think we can call this a podcast? I believe so. Bye. Thank Did you say good. bye at some point? I just did. Oh, no. Well, I guess we'll have to cut the podcast soon. Pink. Is it done? Say farewell in Spanish. Adios.